I'm Andrew Rice. I'm James J. Miles. I'm James the Jester Stewart. And you're listening to Monster Mash. This week, without Luke. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but on this week's episode, we're hunting the Celtas Queen and her little mate, the Celtas. <laughs> Unable to fly by themselves, these wingless female Neopterons release pheromones to lure in male Celtas to serve as thralls. Celtas queens possess a hard carob pace, which they use to protect their vulnerable abdomens and mucus spewing maws, which are vulnerable when exposed. That's Threat not... level, five starts. Oh, good. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, like really easy to say. This is, the type of, this is the type of info you don't get with uh, the <laughs> threat level of the monster. <laughs> That's, no, that's some really like hard words in there. Like, I swear Luke doesn't have to say these sort of crazy things. Uh, I feel like I've been set up here. <laughs> yeah, not not jealous that you have you got to read that. <laughs> that's that's why he's off. He's like, off. Luke, take one look at that description. He's like, fuck that. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a neopteron? I mean, is that just me? Or like... It's um like bugs basically. They're bugs in this game. Yes. Okay. Well, that's what the bugs are. Why don't they just say as. bug? Because you know they're not gonna say for like. The wyverns are gonna just go dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, they won't. They've said before, like in blogs and stuff like that, they won't say like bug or something like that because it feels like it's a monster that can get easily like, swatted aside. Which the Celtis ah, okay. Queen definitely is not. No. <laughs> it's better that threat level of uh, five stars. <laughs> Do you know that description? It makes it makes the relationship between the Celtis and the Celtis Queen sound a lot darker than I actually thought it was. Like, no, it's, it's... it's quite dark anyway, because she actually kills the Celtas sometimes, like to, really? to feed on him. Yeah, yeah. Like if she's quite low on health, she can kill the Celtas and then eat him. Well, shit. Um, so yeah, she's got a sort of uh, praying mantis type thing going on there. Wow. Yeah, and the whole like attracting the Celtas with its pheromones, with her pheromones anyway. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, it's it's all part of like I suppose. It's like... not like it's a partner for life thing, is it? No. <laughs> Like, well, see, she doesn't give a shit, she just gets another one when, when it's dead. So, uh. yeah. It's very, um, spiders do that as well, don't they? Like, the spiders can eat their male yeah, friends. So. Black Widow, is it? Black Widow, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the fight itself, I think, is pretty fun, all told. Yeah, I, I think she's got some quite nice parts to break. Like, it's always fun to smash the tail, and uh, each of her legs obviously mm-hmm. breaks, and... Mm-hmm. Uh, pincers at the front so yeah a nice nice little fight it's quite satisfying getting those breaks as well because you do see like the legs like properly fracture and like her stumbling about after that as well well as it she takes a proper she falls down like after everyone as well so it's uh mm-hmm. yeah it's definitely worth mm-hmm. going to the effort of the yeah i think she got like one of my favorite mounts as well like just because when you're on top of her like the main part of her body like you see this like the shiny character he just likes to pretend he is a celtas <laughs> <laughs> jumps on like fly <laughs> like eat me eat me do it now That's it. he tries to fly and pick her up but he hasn't got the strength <laughs> that's a good thing I do like how they work in tandem um, they kind of like become a big megazord at points don't they oh yeah, yeah definitely like obviously he allows her to charge and then he can pick her up and fly her around and... mm-hmm. it's good as well like when they also like attack like individually like so like the Celtas could be pushing from like the front normal side and Celtas will be on the back like Maybe like throwing off like mucus, the orbs, or like mm-hmm. just doing yep. his pincer attacks, mm-hmm. or like even when he's on top of her doing that as well, because he will start like flinging yeah. mucus when he's when he's on top of her as well, which I think is a really. Mm-hmm. Good I think the whole idea of it, I think they have was like it's like it's a tank basically. Yeah. Which, which obviously the Celtas can can move like one way while the Celtas can be attacking from a different direction. He's like the gunner, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a neat touch, really neat touch. I'm just going back to the breaks as well. Like I think one of the reasons the breaks are so satisfying in this is because I noticed in that hunt as well we did. When you get the breaks, like the noise for the break sounds like a fucking car crash. It's like yes, I'm, I'm picking shit out of her. It's great. No, she's got like odd, like kind of sound effects all round because like when she charges, she sounds like a train to me. Yeah, like a big old steam train. I thought it was a bit like an oh, elephant enough. to be honest. Like when she when she starts making. Mm. That's probably a little bit more. Both. It's probably also yeah, but like I always I always get like a, a steam train like in my mind. I don't know why. No, no, just, just, like, that's because you keep shouting woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the mini Celtas himself there, like when you fight him solo, he's really like a pushover and a half, isn't he? Oh, he's he's easier than like the jaggies and all that sort of thing. Like, yeah, he's, he's jaggy level. That's why he is down at the one and two stars. I mean, I suppose it's it's like the 
the whole like queen and insect society as well. Like the drones are there purely for protection. Like they're not really the big daddies themselves. The big daddies are the big mamas to be fair. The queens. Yeah, and he's, he's, he, his main thing is just that he flies around a bit and just sort of dashes <laughs> at you, charges at you. Like he hasn't got. I do like though when like when you're obviously when you're fighting both of them and you kill the Celtas, like it doesn't ruin the fight. Like fighting the Queen by herself is still interesting. It's still challenging, but you definitely get the impression that and quite rightly so, considering their whole design, that she is limited yeah. and she doesn't have the same ability as she does when she's got the the Celtas helping her out there. And she doesn't really hang yeah, around like that long. Up in the fight and how there's like she's got like basically like, two different move sets. I like the um, when you're fighting the mini Celtus when he charges at you and then gets like stuck on the wall. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, that's good. What's, what are they meant to be like, like, in terms of like comparing them to real life insects? Like, I get the impression that like the mini Celtus is obviously like a horned beetle. Mm-hmm. But like the big Celtus is like anything even like remotely Not like really her? Is there. It's like a big mishmash, like multiple bugs, like because you've got well, yeah. her tail's quite like scorpion, like isn't it? I thought it looked like a, a, an earwig. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, because yeah, it's like it's, it's a forked, it's a forked tail. It's not really like a yeah, scorpion's tail at all. But it, she does use it like a scorpion tail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because like she pulls it up and stabs. Us, or is that a desert celtus thing? Maybe that's a desert one. We'll come to that. Um, and then like the whole actual kind of body itself is a bit. I don't know. It, 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 like a bit spider-like, but mine's a couple, mine's a few legs. And then, like, her mm-hmm. body itself is kind of beetle-like as well. Yeah, beetle I'd definitely agree with. A really interesting design as well, all, all in all. I've, I've never seen him, like, eat the Celtas before. I didn't, I didn't know she did that at all. Well, a lot of monsters, like, in the game, like, have something like that. Like, with the Devil Joe, like, when you, he has the chance, when you cut off his tail, he has the chance to eat his own tail. Like, but it's just, it's just so rare to, for a time, mm-hmm. that's probably why I've not seen it. So I thought the Celtus Queen done that a few t- did it a few times, like, I've definitely seen mm-hmm. her grab the Celtus, like, slam him into the floor and yeah. just go to town. So, it's a, it's a good move. So you, yeah, I've definitely seen it, but, like, I think I've only ever seen it once. That's why I'm saying it's rare. Mm-hmm. See, when she does her, uh, her poop gas, is that the pheromones? I'd assume not. Because, like, does, does, does the Celtus not, like, jump onto the Queen, like, after she does that? Could do. Hmm. We should we should have been paying pay attention. <laughs> he doesn't always jump on. She, like she can grab him and just plonk him on. Like get inside, we're up. <laughs> Here's something I never knew. I'm just reading on the on the book about her here that when she falls into a pitfall trap while Celtus is on her back, Celtus will then like pull her out of the trap. Oh really? I've yeah. seen that before. I've not seen that before as well, but that's a uh, really neat touch. Really neat touch there. <laughs> You brought, them, you brought them up earlier there. I've not fought the Desert Celtos at all. I've been in 4U, quite late game, I believe, in 4U as well. Um, you guys have? Yeah, it's it's a pretty similar fight. I can't remember much different at all, to be honest. Yeah, the fight itself isn't different. I think it's just, a, again, it's a swap of the colour scheme and the elements. I think maybe she digs a little more. I, I might be making that up there. I, I can't say for sure. So just re- just reading a little bit about the, the naming of the actual Celtus as well. Um, one of the local localization guys were talking about how the Japanese names um, kind of refer to how the females are commander in chief and the males are grunt. So like the Japanese names are mm-hmm. like, like talk about like a militaristic pairing, which I suppose goes back to what you were talking about with the uh, with them being like a tank. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think in the, in the end, I think they kind of went for just like a kind of romanization of the of the Japanese name and then just added Queen on so because <laughs> they had they had st- I thought you were going to give us like an actually interesting piece wow of there you go. No? you're not interesting well, you're not interesting no <laughs> genuinely that's, that's, that's <laughs> no like the whole um, militarization thing is like really cool but... well that's the Japanese name there so the Japanese name I believe is Arusaratasu so then, obviously, just mm. Romanized to Celtus there. Um, they had they had like a couple of ideas for naming like this different to the, to the Japanese name. Like they had uh, Scorius, which was a of, uh, copy of Scorpion, and uh, Sagittarius for some reason here. I don't know why they said that. Mm. Um, 
and then because they thought like a, a stinger like tail, so they drew the comparison to the to the uh, the scorpion there. And they also had Scarif, kind of like a scarab beetle. Scarab, yeah, a scarab beetle. Like yeah, so Scarif was one of the names there. Um, but then they just went for Celtus Queen, which is, to be honest, a little bit disappointing. <laughs> so next week, the Monster Mash boys will be uh, whipping you up into a frenzy as uh, we hunt the Gormagala. So join us for that one. And look, Wee. we'll be back for that one. So I'm, we're assuming, unless something happens, but you'll be here. We'll be here. Uh, until then, Andy, where can they find us? Um, well, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, then um, bad luck, because as we said, Luke's back next week, so <laughs> awkward. Um, but but you can subscribe on iTunes if you if you don't mind that anyway, uh, or you can find us on any of the podcasting apps. You know them better than I do. Um, and Give us a shout if we're not on your favourite one, yep, as Luke yep. always likes to say. Uh, um, we've got a Facebook as well. Yep, Facebook, we are Monster Mash, and Twitter... Monster Mash Pod. Monster Mash Pod. Yep, that's yep. it. That's it. Uh, and catch us on there. Mm-hmm. And I can't tell you to send a picture to me, so I guess <laughs> I'll let let Jay take that one. <laughs> you can tweet at AndyMan949 um, a picture of a really gross earwig. Thanks. Do that. Thanks. I'm sure you'll I'm sure really appreciate that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, other than that, thank you for listening. I've totally forgotten what Lou says. He says, see ya. He does it every week. (laughs) See ya. (laughs) Let's go. Stop the quest. Do you know what? All I'm thinking right now is I can't wait to see these textures in the good resolution. (laughs) Lighting effects. (laughs) Oh, fuck her, this monster. Mm-hmm. Sure, we'll get this one in the next one. That she is. Hello, Miss B. Uh, did anyone see where she went? Maybe this way? Yeah. I've got a mountain of the Celtics. <laughs> 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 she has got a funny walk, to be fair. I always struggle to tell what she's doing. Yeah, I'm looking at the end of the day. Minutes later, we're still hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm knocking chunks out of the Celtics, to be fair. Well, it's the fact that the Celtics isn't dead always makes me a little bit wary. You generally go through it. Yeah, Celtics is limping. Hunting is done. Hunter's Aces feels like such a weird hunter's art. Feels like something like out of Overwatch or something. Mm. <laughs> like, um, fucking soldiers thing. No, I, I find a lot of games feel quite weird when I'm off the back of playing a fire. I don't know why. Because fighting games are the purest form of video games. Yeah, I was way off on the whole limping thing, was I? Ouch. Oh god, she thinks she's fucked me here. Get in there. Oh, fuck off! Knock me out of my Sakura Slash. Knock you out of life. No, and what do I go to do my Sakura Slash? <laughs> Like you, she likes everyone. That's true. Sure. That's baby. Shaking that ass. Can we not quit? Sorry, a conversation about the monsters, the monster and again. <laughs> <laughs> we had a conversation about the asses and just monsters doing bizarre things. <laughs> Fucking Steve giving <laughs> hand jobs last week, and now it's. So it's Queen shaking her ass. She likes big butts, and she cannot lie. God save the queen. Don't let her be Victoria. I was gonna say, why am I getting heels? You put the fucking hundreds of aces. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather put that down rather than That's doing damage. Fresh. Stay fresh. <laughs>